Hi, we're back again for another episode of Dragon Warrior Weekly. I'm your host, Donald Kinney. Jesse Kirby. And Robbie Page. All right, we're going to continue what we started last time and run some more uh, basics, some exercises and techniques that you can practice at home to get started and become a fierce warrior. All right, last time we did a few animal jigong. Uh, today we're going to go through a few just more generic um, kind of warm-up exercises. Okay, one of the ones that's a personal favorite of mine is just what I call the backstroke or the reverse windmill. Where you just bring your arm up and around. And then you try to get both arms going together. There you go. Okay. And you start nice and easy. And speed it up. Notice how I keep a little bend in the knees, a little wobble in the waist, but I try to more or less keep my head centered, right? All right. Now we're gonna switch, we slow down, we're gonna stop, don't try to stop with a sudden jerk. All right, now go to the waist. We do, a, I call this the SpongeBob dance. As you just bring it around town. Bring that waist all the way around, big rotation. Do a few one way and be sure to do the same amount back the other way. Go. All right, and now we're gonna bend down a little bit. Put your knees right over top of your toes. Pick a point to stare at, like diagonally out on the floor, because we're gonna to try to keep the head still, and we're gonna rotate the knees in a circle while keeping the feet flat on the floor. All right, and same thing where however many rotations you do one way, you wanna do that many rotations back the other way as well. Right, and this is the way they do it in most martial arts warm-ups. A little uh, variation or adaptation that you can do if you're a little older or you're real tall or you have bad knees. Anything like that is stand more natural shoulder width and cross your arms and do it this way. It's a little bit gentler on the joints. And then when you go to switch directions, switch how your arms are crossed too. All right, real simple from there. Reach down, touch the toes. You can reach down static. Try to bend from the waist, not from the top of your body. Or you can do little pulses. Different people have different opinions about which one's better, so I try to do a little of both. Grab your ankles and pull. Like you're trying to bring your face to your knees. All right. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. We're gonna stretch up, and we're gonna bend over backwards. Go back as far as is comfortable. Don't fall backwards on your head. That's not good. All right, Let's turn around. See if we can lean back and look at the camera. Here we are, hanging out at Dragon Warrior Weekly. Thanks for joining us. Let's go with a quick lesson on what we covered last week. We covered <clears throat> The crane, Qigong, and I pointed out the difference between the health style where we're going full sideways, full range of motion, and the difference between the martial arts style where we're a little bit more squatted and we're just going right here, right? So let me get, here, take a step back. Can you step in with me? All right, so this is just like our Karate Kid. Mr. Miyagi was a genius throw like you're gonna reach out like you're gonna punch me or grab me with one of your hands. All right, so real simple. If he goes to punch or grab me, go ahead. Up, and then floating down could be the same way. Let's say he's punching lower. I got my hands up, boom. All right, so it's a very basic defensive move. The other way that you can vary it is by going deep striking under the arm, and then when you flick that wrist to come down, boom, boom, right? Into, you shift it right into that palm strike like Robbie just, uh, 
Wildman demonstrated in the last episode. Okay, so this is how in Kung Fu everything kind of ties together. They have the expression, one move is a hundred moves. Okay, so that's an example there. And then, thank you Brandon. I'll have Jay come in, demonstrate the leopard with me real quick. All right, so in the leopard, we went like this, right? And so it could be real obvious to see where this would be like a chop, right, to the temple or the jaw or the throat or whatever. But why is this hand here instead of here, right? Because if I'm fighting, I want to be here to guard, okay? If he's already committed to an attack, then I might grab it and strike here, right? So that's where this movement comes in, okay? And so, same thing, if he goes to strike and I grab, since I'm taller, notice how we rotate the hands over top, right? It doesn't matter if you go over or under, doesn't matter. What matters is that switch, because then when I shift out, I can, I can bump his knee with my knee, strike here, take him down backwards. I can just strike and then come back. I can strike, I have these hands here. I can grab and then when I go to switch, I pull him back, right? So there's a lot of little variations we can do here. And the other one would be if I'm super close, right up against him, this motion will actually tweak his elbow across my chest, right? So when I go, it's gonna take that arm the wrong, the wrong way, right? So you've got a lot of different options there. You've got block and strike, you've got takedown, you've got arm break. So just to give you an idea of some of the applications that all this stuff has double purposes uh, for health and fitness and also for self-defense and hand-to-hand -hand combat, all right? Let me have you guys come in here real quick. We'll be right back with the Dragon Warrior Weekly. All right, we're gonna go over a couple more kicks today. All right, the first kick we're gonna do is a sliding side kick. All right, so we're gonna put the kicking leg in front. So right now I'm gonna kick with my right foot. We're gonna do it in three steps. The first step is we're gonna step with our kicking leg up 45 degrees. So we're gonna step up. The next step is we're gonna step with our back foot behind this foot, like this. If you step in front of it, then you're not gonna have anywhere for to pick this foot up. So we're gonna step behind, bring your knee up, like you're doing a front kick in this direction. Then you're gonna squeeze your leg, pivot this foot that you're standing on, and kick straight and then set it down. So one more time slow, step, slide behind, knee up, and kick, set it down. All right, ready? Hands are up, go. Step, slide, oh, yeah. kick. Hands are up, go. Oh, yeah. One more on this side, go. Oh, yeah. All right, now switch feet. Put your left foot in front. It's gonna be the same thing, we're just going the opposite direction. So we're gonna step 45 with your left this way, step behind with your back foot, bring your knee up, like you're gonna throw that front kick this direction, but you're gonna squeeze, kick, and pivot this foot. And set it down. Try not to lose your balance when you go all the way through. Here, step, slide, kick. All right, ready? Go. Hands up. Go. One more. Try to breathe out. Go. All right, now we're going to keep that same foot in front. We're going to do the same ending of the kick, but we're going to get there a little differently. So this one, a sliding side kick was good if we we're far away. Get this fight thing. And I can step. Slide and kick into them. But if we start closer off, I do that same slide. I'm way too close. So I'm gonna throw a full side kick by pivoting this foot, like we pivoted for that round kick last episode. Bring your knee up and then kick. 
All right, so hands are up. Pivot this foot, bring your knee up. And now we're in the same position we just were for a sliding side kick. So we're gonna finish the same here and kick. All right, hands are up. Pivot, knee up, push it out. Go. And make sure you push it out and not come here and bring your leg out like this so that looks like a round kick. Here, push. Hands are up. Ready, go. Two more, go. Come back where you got it. Last one, go. Now put that foot in front. You gotta do the other side, ready? Go. Go. Come back. One more. Go. Yeah. All right. Now, last kick for the day. We're gonna do a spin back kick. So, you're gonna pivot the opposite direction for this one. So this foot is gonna pivot this way so your heel is facing the front. Look over your right shoulder. Transfer weight from your back foot to your front one. You're gonna pick this leg up, keep turning, and kick straight and put your foot down. And get set. So from here, pivot, look, kick. All right, ready? Hands are up. Pivot, try not to step over either. You just wanna pivot. So from here, go. Try to kick straight in your own stomach. Ready? Go. Yeah. Light stance when you set it down. Ready? One more. Go. Yeah. And try to set your foot down where you want it to be down. Ready? Switch feet. So hands are up. Go. Two more. Go. Yeah. Push it straight back. Ready? One more. Go. Yeah. Light stance. All right, good job. We'll be right back to Dragon Warrior Weekly. For today, I want to go over the ba some basic blocks and counters. Um, maybe an escape. Um, so your basic block, your high block is like this. Your low block your side block, and your outside block, all right? So let's go do that, ready? So high block, high block, low block, low block, side, side, outside, outside, all right? So use you first. So if you punch it to the face, you're gonna high block, and then here's the counter. Boom, right to the ribs. All right? Punch it to the stomach, he's gonna low block, counter to the face. All right? I'm coming with a hook, push it over top of the counter punch. Boom. All right? If I'm coming like this, yep, outside, counter. All right, come here, Brandon. Same thing. So go punching at your face, you're gonna high block, you're gonna counter with your punch. Boom. If I'm coming low, you know, and then counter to the face, boom, good. If I'm coming with a hook, you're gonna push it away, come over top, nope, over top, like that. Boom. If I'm coming up like this, you're gonna go outside and counter with a punch, boom. It's all about redirecting their strike and countering with your own. All right, come here, Jay. So, my one of my favorite escapes are, because in school you have a lot of people that want to get up in your face, and if you want, don't want to fight the person, right? So if I got Jay like this and I'm like, Hey, kid, give me your lunch money, you know? 
What Jay's going to do is knock my hands down, and now I'm automatically open, and all he's got to do is push me away. Hey, I don't want to fight you, man, you know, because your objective is to not get in a fight. So that's why you're learning today to avoid that situation. But if you have to defend yourself, then you know what to do. Um, so Jay can go two ways. He can go down or he can go up. And both, both ways, it opens this up, push to create space. Same thing, Brandon. So if I grab you, you push it away. Push it up, yep. Now you can counter with a knee or push me back to get away from me. All right, same thing, right? Push it out and push me away. See, it's all it takes. Just a little bit of, to create that space. All right, that's it. Basic cream stuff we've been working on spreads wings, right? Yeah, this is spreads wings for the cat stance, go from the crane, yeah, stance, even boom. This one we've got five animal fists, like every variation, right? Every technique that could be great for the variations on it, right? What we've got trying to go on over closing the wing, yeah, opening the wing. This is what we're trapping your prey. Okay, so this deals with the same movement. It's open that it's gotta be it can't be like drawn out. It's gotta be like we see that in the Hanji, which is one of our optional forms. It's got a little sequence power. Block and strike. Follow Right, so that's that's all that's going on there is we're taking this leg in, hammer them down, power has gotta come up. Or same thing on the other side, but then block it and throw on the back fist. Right. My legs going this way. Right, and it's really the same move. Right. Part one, part two. Right. Part one. Right. Let's say he lifts his foot and moves it. Right. Turn the dips. Boom. Even if he wraps with this leg out of wrestling instinct, I've got a half mount. Right? So I can work, I can turn my hips out, work from a from a side mount, or all I gotta do is overcome this one leg to get the full mount. Right, so that's the significance of trapping the leg on the inside.
God, it burns! Oh my! Wait a minute. I've been cured of COVID-19!